to this episode of Tiny Delight. Who am I? This question comes up for each of us, right? At some point of our lives, we just simply become dissatisfied with our lives at one point. Um, it doesn't matter how much physical experience or stimulations we have, right? We can get another good job or travel to a beautiful place. There's something still missing within us. That's because we often associate our lives or who am I with our physical identities, right? We've been living from that limited storylines, right? For me, I lived my life from the stories uh, like I am Sherry, I am a student, right? I am a, a successful project manager. I make this much money. I live in this house. I like this kind of food. And then one day I just woke up in pain. I simply wasn't satisfied with the life I had. But everything looked great on the paper. I knew there was something more than this. So I started meditation and throughout my journey, I realized I'm a more than just my physical identities. Right? There's a metaphysical level. So what is it? My identity at a metaphysical level. And um, I remember during my yoga training in this one yoga class, the teacher always ended the class with two questions. Who am I? Why am I, why am I here? She was trying to provoke us to think about this question, to get answer, answers for these two questions, and then we can live the lives from the truth. So after several years searching, and now I truly understand who am I? I'm more than this body. I'm pure consciousness. I am formless. Right? You can actually, I can actually feel this in my meditation. Right? When I close my eyes, still my body, I can feel this energy or this consciousness or right? awareness that fuels my body. Right. I'm aware of my existence. That is who I am. And, and finally, I'm okay with saying I am a God, right? So God is just the universal force or, or the intelligence that created everything in the universe. Right? I'm a part of the universe. And so once I got the answer for, for this question, understand who I am and live my daily life and every moment of my daily life from this truth and all my anxiety or sadness or depression just dissolve. And so that's why I pray. I turn my entire life to a mindful living um, because every moment, right, if I get off my center, start feeling emotional or emotionally reactive towards something, I just come back to this truth right here. I'm not this physical experience, right? I am more than this. I'm a that formless, pure consciousness, consciousness. I'm the force, I'm the God. Right, I can mold my reality into my desired reality. Right? So I just, I mean, knowing the answer of these questions really helped me to shift out the, the victim mindset, right? step into my um, creator seat, or you can say, you know, the owner of my life, right? I stop blaming others, you know, just really take everything in my own hands, right, in my life and just become truly happy every moment throughout my life. So I hope this episode helps you to understand who you really are, right? We are all the same. We 
no one's different, right? What makes us unique is our physical experience, but it's also very limiting, right? So that's why we have to live from the truth who we are. All right, thanks for listening, and I see you in the next video.